Rana. And uh, based on my PMRF interview, I am going to talk in this particular video uh, tips to prepare for uh, cracking PMRF interview. So first and foremost, prepare your resume very well. So in this particular, uh, when I'm talking about preparing your resume, you should write your word uh, experience that uh, is in line with the research. So you can write about your uh, projects that you did in your college, uh, which was related where you uh, gave us some innovative ideas. Or you can write about your research internship where you worked on a problem or you learned some skills in the field of research. And secondly, prepare your research proposal very well. So you should be very crisp and clear about what you are proposing. So in your proposal, you should have a problem, uh, solution and what technology you are using uh, for uh, arriving to that particular solution. So in uh, uh, with this particular purpose, uh, research proposal, you should be able to convey your ideas very well. And uh, at the same point of time, whatever you are proposing, you should know the concepts related to it. Um, uh, that is in line with your branch of specification like i did chemical engineering i should know some concept what i'm proposing in my research ideas and uh, the concepts basic concept that is being related to it and uh, now third one is round one so in this particular round one their objective uh, round one of interview was there so based on uh, different institute and the professor the selection process might differ but uh, their uh, way of valuation will depend on few points so I am going to give it. So I had round one and round two of interviews. So in uh, my round one, they wanted to understand my research idea. And they secondly, they wanted to check my knowledge in my particular field. When I was doing a chemical engineering, they wanted to check whether my basic concepts were strong or not. So in that particular thing, they checked about uh, so how you should prepare for it, uh, the particular um, interview. So you should be well aware of your basic concept. You should have theoretical understanding of uh, your subjects. So you should prepare four to five very strong subjects uh, from your coursework. Uh, you can either use um, uh, to prepare from your gate syllabus or uh, read um, some good books regarding that particular topic. And uh, at the same point of time, you are expected to be handy with formulas and understanding of uh, each and every terminology in that particular formula. Um, at the same and uh, have a good um, idea about uh, graphs and diagrams. So in sh in nutshell, you should prepare four to five subjects uh, in depth, where uh, with the formulas, diagrams, and basic understanding of everything. And uh, in the second, I had a phase round two. In the round two, they uh, their proposal was to check analytical and pro uh, problem solving skills. So in this particular round, the basic objective was that how you are able to solve the problem, whether you are able to, uh, from a particular problem, are you able to uh, design an experiment and from that design of experiment, um, how you uh, arrive through your solution, do you have only one perspective of arriving to the solution or uh, different perspective. So uh, here they did not want it to check whether you are right or wrong, but how you approach to the particular problem. Uh, so uh, in this one, you uh, while facing this type of questions, you have to understand the problem very specifically. And secondly, you should have practical approach to the problem. Like you should know how to design experiment and how you will be able to find, uh, you know, a velocity. Um, in velocity is distance by time, but uh, how you will be able to find through your practical approaches, how you will measure the things. Uh, so this is this is a simple concept. Uh, they do ask uh, more in detail. Um, then third one is uh, experiments and conclusions. So you might have done some undergraduate experiments. So what deductions you get? What was your? <laughs> and uh, they ask some problems related to it. And um, then they check how well you solve your problems. Uh, and design your own experiment and the fifth one is mathematical analysis so mathematics also play an important role so you should know uh, some numerical methods and um, how to correlate whatever data you are getting uh, by an experiment how can you present it uh, what are the different tools and what understanding you should have so this was also an important uh, thing so you should have some mathematical analysis uh, so that you can interpret your results of your experiment so uh, in nutshell, in this particular interview, the professors were really friendly. Um, so if you, uh, you know, if in the problem you start approaching, but the 
you don't have any idea ki whether i'm going right or wrong so they do provide you hints so uh, always when you're given a problem you start with your basic concept and then uh, you build blocks somewhere they will give you hints and you can even arrive to the right solution and here they are not judging you whether you give a right answer or how you approach to the particular problem is uh, um, your judgment in this particular interview so uh, and the next most important thing is this people are very experienced uh, people and experts in the field so if you do not know uh, anything uh, you don't get any clue it's better to say i don't know and you can move on to a uh, next question please uh, don't bluff you are very uh, you will be caught in seconds so avoid that but uh, always approach with your uh, uh, to a problem with your basic concept and slowly come to the solution and uh, <laughs> So the cracking this interview requires a good amount of free technical skills, basic and understanding um, of your own subjects and uh, problem solving skills. So, uh, so be very confident and uh, hope uh, this tips help you prepare with all the best.